I don't collect the same kind of Hot Wheels that other people collect. Coming up after this. Yeah, I uh, guess I have different tastes. I really like uh, what Mattel puts out. Not necessarily the cars that are made off of real models. I clicked the special ones. So recently, what I like, and I've been going a little too hardcore recently, the dinosaur collection. So I have been collecting all of these. This was a treasure hunt of that one right here. Treasure hunts are rarities and they have super treasure hunts, which are super rare and can be very expensive. I think the super treasure hunts are one per 15 case. And because I go toy shopping so much, I actually do find some and I think I'm gonna sell them. But I'm not really gonna focus. Well, we are gonna see those, but that's not what I'm gonna focus on today. I'm gonna show you the kinds that I collect. So right now, in 2021, I've been collecting the dino cars. So dino riders, I better put in my glasses so I can say the names properly. And also, this is new. Canada gets these later, I guess. Sometimes we might get a case at a certain store sooner. That happens with most of Mattel toys. But you can see how cool this set is because we've got like the vintage Hot Wheels logo on it. So I'm hoping I can collect all this. I think they come out with um, a set of these every year. So I, and I haven't ever been successful at collecting the whole collection of them, but this year things are working out for me, I guess because I'm maybe going to the store too much. Okay, an X Racers are another series because these are translucent and I love translucent toys and you can see those are really cool. They like to reissue some of the same ones and they give them the same number, but they reissue them in different colors. So you can see all of these translucent cars. That goes with the collection. I think I need, we're coming to the end of the year for when these are put out. So I think I need one or two from a couple of the series. The Glow series was a series that I really liked. Now these other two are just bonuses. This is the last. This is my least favorite Glow series. You'd think that's not true because I've been collecting all the ducks. At least the ones in modern times. I do find out sometimes that there's other ones. So here are, yeah, I think I have the complete set of Glow series. So it was these ones. And I should open them as soon as I realize that I have the whole collection. But they're translucent and they glow in the dark. So this was like a dream collection for me. I just thought they looked so cool. And then after I got all of those, I moved on to the X Racers. And the completest in me has to get the full collection. It's funny. Now here are some older ones that I found that again, there's translucent elements. They have this tropical 80s theme going on, which I love. These came out I found these at some kind of, um, it's called Toys, Toys, Toys in Canada. It's just an independent toy store. And then you might have seen me open these ones, these little mm, fast foodie, or maybe they call them ride-ons because you get these little figures with them. And I thought that they would look good in dioramas. So I did do a diorama op opening these, but just as I, did my review of the whole collection because I had all the shopping carts and I had all of these uh, pixels shakers that I and then these two came out so I have to add these two to my collection and at the end of the year of this year they started releasing these rescue cars and I am loving the rescue series I don't know just something 
about them that really pulled me in. I guess it's the bright colors and, you know, every baby loves <laughs> rescue vehicles. So they look really cool and really utilitarian. My favorite diecast company, which is also owned by Mattel, is Matchbox, though, because they are so utilitarian. And here is another latecomer to the 2021 collection. They put out some Space Ones. And I thought this was the first time that they put out Space Ones. But what I'm discovering is that they've had Space Series before. They've had X Racers before. They've had Glow in the Dark ones before. But I'm hardcore this year for some reason. And I think that there's a recolor, yeah, of this one. And then I am complete for all of these but you can see they're really cool and they're spacey uh i think there might be a recolor of this one. Oh yeah i think it's of this one i don't know well maybe there's a recolor of both of them but it's those two that got me sucked in i didn't know that the other ones were gonna look quite like this they're not as cool as these ones that look like they drive on the moon but I like the chrome mixed in and they put in a Space Jam van to go with that collection. So I mean, that's kind of fun as well. Let's look at my uh, expensive ones. Well, they're not. Treasure hunts aren't usually, they don't go for much, but I'm gonna trade these with some lady that works at a flea market. I think she's gonna trade for me. And she gave me a Barbie Corvette, which is cool that hopefully she'll take these trades for it um yeah these are treasure hunts so i get doubles or i don't know i guess i just got doubles but i don't usually get them if i see them because they're not that valuable or anything however the super treasure hunts i have those in here so oh ids they also i don't know these have been very rare recently but i like these i think brian and veronica sent me that one I love to collect them. I like them because they look really cool and they have microchips on the bottom. I've never opened one, but that's just really cool in general. And then this is a treasure hunt. So whenever I find one, I get one of these. I don't really like this car, but it's kind of valuable. And then I have some super treasure hunts this year. So this is another treasure hunt from this year that I stumbled upon. And then here are my most valuable. I think these might be worth $50 each on eBay, Canadian. So I'm going to sell those because I'd rather have $50 than these shiny cars, even though they're some really nice looking cars. Now, if they were dinosaur ones, I would have to keep them. I wouldn't want to part with them. Here is, oh, here's another treasure hunt that I have. That's one of the newer ones. I don't really like that. Oh, maybe I'll trade that with her. Maybe she'll want that. Okay, and then this series is awesome. I love uh, the art direction. This is These are ones that I don't want to take off the cards. I'm definitely going to save all of the cards on all of these. But this is a really cool vintage truck collection. And the packaging, the art, look how nice the art is on these cards. From like a dockyard or something yeah that's a great series now these ones would be a little more expensive but not not by much just by a few dollars okay let me put in my really expensive cars carefully back in this box so that i don't hurt them put my other treasure hunts in there with them But yeah, I like that truck. I don't like when there's deco. So I don't know if I'm going to be showing you that stuff today. But that's why I like Matchbox. Because they don't put a lot of deco on the cars. What do I got in here? Okay, so also this year I've been collecting the holiday cars. And the first holiday car this year was the Halloween car. And I missed it. However, I think 
with the Hot Wheel dealer at the flea market, I think that there was some guy who wanted to do a trade with her, and I heard him, and I asked him if he was going, he had the Bone Crusher Halloween car from the beginning of the year, and he said he did, and I think he's going to bring it in, and I am going to trade her for that, so I can finish my holiday collection. I've opened all of my holiday collections, and I think I did that in like a diorama video, because I do like to give those to Slate's Diorama Room. Here are some old dinosaurs. So these are just ones that I found random at uh, different stores. Some of them, oh, these are all called Dino Riders. Oh, and this is a treasure hunt that uh, the Hot Wheels lady actually traded with me. And then we have these ones. Uh, yeah, they're older. Dinosaur. That's when I discovered that they've been making dinosaur series for a long time. Okay, now here's another series that I was really excited. This was an early series in the season, in the year. The Mattel games. So, look, we got these Zombots. That's what they call them. But the game is called Rock'em Sock'em. So, I love those. And then they had the Uno cars. And they had... Pitchinary and Doss and Guster. I've never played that game, but the car is so cool. And they had eight ball cars. And they had, they all have different sayings. Not all different sayings, but I don't know. There's some ridiculous amount. And I thought there wasn't going to be that many. So I started collecting them. So I have three different ones. But then I realized that there was like 15 different ones. So I don't need to get every saying on the bottom of the eight ball car. But you can see, uh, to do a Mattel games room with these cars, that's going to be a fun video for me to make. I didn't really show you these older Halloween ones that I got because I can't get the Halloween one that I want. I settled for these. Oh, and here's some more to the most recent uh, Dino collection. I guess I had them separated by mistake. So those go with that. Now I've already talked enough about Hot Wheels, so I'm gonna definitely have to do a part two in these bins of some of these. I guess most of these are like movie ones, and there's a lot of 80s ones and fun ones like donuts and yeah, most of them are, yeah, I would say that most of them are movie ones lots of fun like barbie and the beatles and hello kitty and star wars and yeah definitely stay tuned for that oh yeah and also in this part of my collection i have all of the solid color jeeps i love yeah solid color vintage cars and jeeps if i had a car i would get a jeep like comment share and subscribe i hope you like to see these weird hot wheels that i collect not like the other guys do I made a horrible mess here. I have to put it all away. I tried to sort as I go. I think, I think the dinosaurs are collected. I gotta start opening them. I'm gonna do dinosaur rooms. And then when I do it like a dinosaur diorama room, I'm going to put the dinosaur cars on the shelf and that's when I'll open them and then I think there's something that you can do with acetone you can paint with a paintbrush across the back where the glue is and then you can take the bubble off because I want to save the cards because the cards are almost as cool as the cars themselves I love my cars <laughs>